Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll finish with Pakwama. One of the first topics we're going to do. Mostly they're important from MCQ's point of view. Those, uh, then I'd like to go over a few lasers. Use of tape. And then we'll do the test. So it's a relatively small session for today. Hopefully. Let's get right into our first case. What is this case before we get there? So let's see what is important in this history in this patient. The patient he follows up after a surgery for a subluxated lens. All right, there's a history of surgery. First thing. There is severe pain in his left eye. Uh, it's not his left eye, it's actually his right eye. Correct this, sir. Examination, he has pain in his right eye. Correct this. And he reports no vision in it. And he is being managed for posterior open angle glaucoma. So we have three important, three important symptoms over here. So how do you think we should work up this patient? How we patient to work up? How we will manage this patient? So, to baraham, we start with the usual things. We do the usual things. We do the visual activity. On doing visual activity in this eye specifically, which is his right eye, there is no light perception. LP is negative. Then extraocular movements are right, they're normal. We have no indication to do them as well. Let's do a little bit then we'll perform the slit lamp examination. Now I want you all to focus on the slit lamp examination and what you see. These are actually some random findings, but if you pick them up, it's good for you. So if we systemically see what's wrong in this picture, we'll be able to pick up a lot of things. So I'll point them out, and if anyone knows what they are, so the first thing is that we notice this redness all around the limbus. What is this? Circumcellary congestion, right? This is circumcellary congestion. All right. Yes, there is circumcellary congestion. Now the second thing, if you take a good look. And there's some, uh, what about the contour of the limbus and the cornea? Is it completely circular? Okay, so if you look closely, the inferior part is circular, but the superior part isn't that much circular. Yes, it's kind of elliptical. And if you look even closely, you can see that there's something abnormal over here because the sclera is usually white. It's not like it's blackish. So something we have a distorted shape of the cornea. Now, circumcity congestion and distortion here. Is the pupil normal? Pupil is not normal. Why? Because this is the pupil no. over here. Okay? This is the pupil. And this is the iris. If you look closely, we can see that this iris tissue over here, okay, this is the iris tissue, and there is this black, round, uh, round black uh, shape over here, and then there's slight redness over here. This black 
uh, roundness, it's actually the pupil. And this is accumulation of blood in the anterior chamber because it's front in, in front of the eyes and behind the cornea. So blood in the anterior chamber is called, what is it called, blood in the anterior chamber? Hyphema. It's a hyphema. Yes, so this is a hyphema. A hyphema, a distorted pupil, and we cannot see the iris over here. So most likely either the iris, uh, if the iris is tail water, we would have seen two approaches. Most likely the iris is trapped over here, right? So we have a few findings in this examination. Let them circum circumcision congestion. We can see an hyphema, a distorted pupil, and a scar or tissue. Scarring, distorted pupil. We found we a lot of findings. Now, what are we going to What should we do? What should we do? What do we do? We do a tonometry to find out what's the the we will notice that the IOP is raised. It is raised. Yes, that is correct. We will perform a tonometry. So we will notice a uh, goniometry. Yes, we can perform a gonioscopy. That's a scopy because we see, we do not measure. It's a gonioscopy. So if we perform a gonioscopy, we can, uh, what we find out is that the angle is obliterated in the up quadrants, and the rest of it is normal. Gonioscopy. So, Angle is invisible spirit. So, should we do anything else or do you have a probable diagnosis in your mind? Okay, I'll answer this. So, do you have any other uh, investigation or examination in mind or do you think we have our diagnosis? Perimetry. Perimetry. Now, perimetry we can do to find out the visual fields. Uh, in that type, that person has no light perception. So if you cannot even perceive light, a perimetry will not show us anything. It won't like the theory. And why do we uh, why have we checked visual activity when we give history of vision loss? Because sometimes uh, when patients say that they are not seeing anything, they are not seeing so that is a subjective subjective feeling. Think subjective similar patient ke hisab se. Ab hamen thoda sa usko date karna hota hai. Kyunki nazar nahi aa raha kya matlab bhi ho sakta hai ki unhe peripheral vision mein nazar nahi aa raha. Nazar nahi aa raha kya matlab ho sakta hai unhe light nazar aa rahi hai. Lekin unhe jo samne cheeze padi hai wo nazar nahi aa rahi. So that is why uh, we have different grades. When we say light perception is negative, we mean that uh, we shine a light in four quadrants. In uh, four quadrants ke hisab se. And if he says light nazar nahi or he is not able to tell where that light is coming from crudely, that means his eye is not able to perceive light. Usko light perception is not patient that we are not able to perceive light. But you light and they are able to perceive that light. It means that there is some retinal function still existing in that patient. So that, uska matlab ye hai it warrants examination, it warrants investigation, aur hume chahiye ki hum us patient ko achhi investigate kare, aur agar us thode se function ko hum secure kar sakte hain, ya usko badha sakte hain, so we should do everything we can in order to save that eye. Okay, that is why investigations and examinations are important. So perimetry. Uh, so I'll let you in to what the diagnosis is. Our diagnosis is of absolute glaucoma. 
Now you know the history. You've read the history. आपने history थोड़ी सी देखी है. Diagnosis मैंने आपको बता दिया है. You will tell me why this has happened. Why has this happened in this patient? This is what you're going to tell me. Make sense. Try to make sense of what is happening over here. Sir, this has been treated lens. और उसकी वजह से जब क्रॉनिक रहा है तो फिर ऑप्टिक जो न्यूरोपैथी भी डेवलप हो गई होगी Yes, yes, you're right. So what happens in absolute glaucoma is typically that patients they have long-standing uh, glaucomas. Okay. Now in this case, our patient is being managed for posterior open angle glaucoma, and that's all right. But he also has a subluxated lens. Now after performing surgery for the subluxated lens, you've seen some findings over here. We see that there's hyphema. We see that the pupil is distorted, and there's some scar tissue as well over here. Okay. You, it, it, I, scar is white. It should never be black. So, if we look at these clues in the context of surgery, we can notice that the surgery has gone somewhat wrong, or there has been a complication. That is why there is blood. There is an incarcerated iris, or the iris has been trapped in the original site with the suture, uh, where the incision was made. So, an unmanaged or poorly managed glaucoma with an exacerbating factor. and after he's followed up the raised iop has caused a lot of damage to the eye and that damage means that the ganglion cells the optic nerve it's no longer able to receive light it's no longer able to perceive light and at the same time where this iop this raised iop has caused damage that is an iop is also causing immense pressure on the cornea that is why this person has pain in his eye that is the reason for pain phobia jis hum kehte hain it uh, does not necessarily mean ke a person needs to see a blind person can also have photophobia so how do you think we should manage this patient kaise hum manage karenge in patient ko there is one surgical technique we should do what should that be kya kar sakte hain lens removal uh, the lens has already been removed the surgery for a subluxated lens is a lensectomy lensectomy mein aap lens nikal lete hain so the lens has been removed in this patient complications afterwards abiculectomy kar lena abiculectomy kar all right you are uh, thinking in terms of glaucoma hello uh, the actually the answer uh, is we perform an enucleation you have attended the uvia session in ko pata hai ki uvia kya hai ha uh, uvia mein nikal se kiya tha you know what an enucleation is those who don't know an enucleation means that we remove the eyeball completely hum kaise optic nerve kaat dete hain and we remove the eyeball because this i it does not have any vision and it's painful for him there is a few medical procedures as well uh we inject anesthetic behind the eye a retrobulbar injection of anesthetics that is an option we try to destroy the ciliary body so that they don't produce acosuma that is another option but these usually fail and so in the end what is done is an enucleation removal of the eyeball completely Let's just say that this patient did not have an enucleation. This is his right eye. Again, this is a uvia. Thought I read a uvia. Read a tha uvia ke session ke the. Do know? I think they have seen this picture before, and they know what this condition is. Let's 
me describe it if anyone does not know so you see closely that uh, sometimes what happens is that in long standing absolute glaucoma if it's uh, mildly painless in patient bardash kar lete and they don't seek medical therapy what can happen is that the ciliary processes they don't uh, work they stop producing aqueous humor the eyeball it shrinks it moves inwards it has no vision and uh, it is somewhat deviated if uh, if this person he tried to close eye you see that his eye is deviated we cannot appreciate any of the structures inside hame iris we cannot differentiate the iris properly the lens properly or any of the structures properly this condition is called this is pulvar so uh For those who do not understand this, or not understand what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened, don't worry. Once we cover it again, inshallah, we will do this. This is well why can occur as a complication of absolute glaucoma. For us, I this is a little bit strange because uh, some of the concepts we are applying over here they may be foreign to all of you or some of you. So don't worry about it. We will do it again. We will do it again. This was our first case of absolute glaucoma. In absolute glaucoma, uncontrolled glaucoma, or a severe raise in IOP, it can lead to a painful visual loss, complete visual loss. There is a marked increase in IOP, and if you were to perform a fundoscopy, which we did not do over here, you would see that there would be deep cupping, immensely, greatly deep. Management includes a lot of options, but a definitive surgical procedure is immunization, which means of the complete eyeball so this was absolute talk our next case for the day and uh, the second case baby case let's look at this case read this case read the symptomatology and then we'll discuss the work Let's take another look at our patient. She's a three-year-old female. All right. First thing important is the age. Three-year-old. Evaluation of increased size of left eye. Increased size of left eye. See okay. here. Patient was initially noted to have tearing. Tearing some broad arms or in her left dimension. Not tearing as in she had a tearing. Tearing. and was treated with antibiotics we have some history at 1 year of age the parents noted slightly increased size of the eye theek okay. hai patient was not seen by an ophthalmologist until age 3 when we are seeing this patient when the asymmetric eye size became obvious and corneal haze was noted now somebody may ask what is os find the infantile glaucoma yes you have the diagnosis but why So the first thing is what does OS mean? किसी को पता है कि OS क्या लिखा हुआ है? OS. OS. OS is used for left eye. It's ocular sinister. OT is used for right eye. Let's see. We have a three-year-old female who is eligible for evaluation for increased size of the left eye. we know these two things the age you know we will we have uh, we can narrow these our defenses down to only three or two but since we don't know anything about us we'll uh, proceed systematically and then we'll discuss the differences later on so this patient was initially noted to have tearing treated with antibiotics the main complaint as you can see is that increased size of left eye and secondly there is a corneal haze how will be work of this patient how should we work of this patient hame kya kya karwana chahiye
What can we do? What should we do? Visual equity, slit lamp examination with tonometry. Visual equity, slit lamp examination, tonometry, all right. Bilkul. These are the things which we do. So the first thing, uh, general appearance, we take a look at the visual equity. The first thing is visual equity. Visual equity in uh, children, in three-year-olds is typical because either we use the e-charts or shapes. However, for simplicity, uh, how do we know that a child's visual equity is normal if we cannot uh, completely tell the shapes are where and what are? The thing is that in children, reflexes they develop. Uh, it's a fix and follow reflex. Meaning that if a child is certainly an object is appeared in front of his eye, so he will fixate on that object. And if you move that object, he will try to follow it. So he can fixate and follow with both his eyes. It gives us an idea that all right, his visual perception is good. Uh, now, this was according to the child. This was a subjective measurement. How can we objectively measure if this child has a refractive error or not? What is that in a specific examination which objectively tells us that we have a patient ki input ke bagayar hume pata lag jai ki is pande mein koi refractive error ka issue aa raha hai Retinoscopy. Retinoscopy. Okay. Retinoscopy. So retinoscopy is an objective measure. Now uh, this was for the uh, Thoda Visual equity can be done by a subjective method. So it can be done by objective method. Retinoscopy. So the second thing uh, was tonometry. Tonometry, you can use the Boltzmann. You can use the Perkins. Kuch bhi aap use so on tonometry, the Right eye, right eye, IOP in right eye is 12 millimeters of mercury. It's normal. In the left eye, it is 34 millimeters of mercury. Then you want to do a straight lamp examination. examination So let's have a general appearance of the child first. So what do we notice in this examination? The discharge. Discharge. Uh, okay. So you think it's discharge. I'll tell you what it is. Ek to aapne ki there's something over here. Let's point it out. Okay. There's something yes, over here. Chlorine this is dye. This is dye. This is dye. You're correct. Okay. So there is dye. We're going to be doing it. Okay. There is dye. This is dye actually. The fluorescein dye, fluorescein stain, which is used, this is uh, we use that for pollen insert. So there is dye. Pupils are constricted. All right. Or or uh, what else can you notice in these pictures? Jo uh, corneal enlargement size. Just yes, sir. Left. Left eye. So left eye. If we have a general look, the left is enlarged in both these examinations whereas the right eye is, is somewhat smaller so right eye is somewhat smaller left eye is somewhat larger up upper one examination if you tip closely the dye is over here both eyes may die but you can see that the dye clearly is present in more quantity over here It's mm -hmm. not a specific finding, but it's an incidental finding, which in this case, all right, the whole eye is being enlarged. The left eye is enlarged, the pupils are constricted because uh, mitosis hasn't been done at this moment. That is why it is constricted. There's one more thing in the bottom picture, especially. There is one yeah. more thing. Epicanthal folds. Yes, you're right. Yeah. These, these are epicanthal folds. These are skin folds. Okay. It's not around the uh, the surrounding nose. These are epicanthal folds. So on NDS exam and examination, we see that uh, the left eye is enlarged. Uh, 
interior shape and interior compartment. Left eye is enlarged. Left eye enlarged. That is the first thing which is important. And epicanthal folds and design to finding all right. So interior chamber defense. The thing is that we performed the tonometry. We found out that the mesh, uh, pressure in the left eye is 34 millimeter. Now we perform a gonioscopy. Why to see the angle? When we perform a gonioscopy, we see that in the left eye, the iris is inserted. The iris is inserted somewhat over the trabecular mesh. It's inserted over the trabecular mesh. So he can show you. Now you dilated the patient and you wanted to have a good look on the cornea because this patient has reported cornea. So when you look at the cornea, we perform dilation. What do you see? Focusing on the cornea, what do you see? Cornea is partially covered by upper eyelid. Partially covered by apple island. That's good. That's right. Let's focus on this area specifically. Jo hume nazar aa raha hai inside the pupillary margin. Jo hume ka lines which are seen. Lines which are seen. So first thing we are seeing some lines. Okay. If you remember keratoconus, so they are somewhat similar to uh, these lines are somewhat similar to that. Those lines we only discussed briefly. And secondly, second of all, there is one more thing. Edema. Yes, there is edema. Uh, edema ka kya it's cloudiness or a haziness of the cornea. So, on examination of the cornea, we are seeing corneal haze. And we are seeing stria. Stria means lines. And these specific lines, in the case of uh, this specific case which we are discussing, they are termed as harb stria. If you remember those, they were the same stria in the stroma. And these are actually half stria. But no worries. Is there any test for eyeball size or you tell by examination? So, first thing that we have examination that the idea that all right, there is uh, something wrong. In our left eyes and last, we can also tend by investigations. One the investigations and we'll discuss in a few moments. When we examine the fundus as well, we notice that the left eye there was cupping. One more finding. Is there any other examination we should need to do, or should we move towards investigation? We've done all the examinations. So, what are the investigations which we need to do in this case? Investigations, which is the investigation which we can use to um, measure the length of the eyeball? Eyeball captain length we get measure can be here if you want to measure the length in the anterior posterior axis. So how do you measure the length of the eyeball? Which investigation do you use? X X rays. Uh, X rays we have used here. X rays are crude method. You close. We use some side of some kind of waves. A V scan. V scan. Okay, that is the term. A V scan or an A scan, an axial scan. So the first thing is that we perform an axial scan. Okay, an axial scan to determine the axial length. The axial length on A scan or B scan, we find that this increased. I 
नॉट गोइंग टू टेल द क्रूड नंबर्स क्योंकि वो हमारे लिए इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं बट द थिंग लेंथ इंक्रीज्ड लेफ्ट आई चलो हमें एक चीज समझ में पता लगती है एनी अदर इन्वेस्टिगेशन व्हिच यू वुड वांट टू डू इन दिस केस टोपोग्राफी कर सकते हैं वो जो सरफेस को मैया करते हैं सरफेस मैया करने के लिए हम टोपोग्राफी में हम क्या देखना चाहेंगे व्हाट इज द एग्जैक्ट थिंग व्हिच वी आर लुकिंग फॉर के वो आगे प्रोट्यूड तो नहीं किया हुआ बिल्कुल सो टोपोग्राफी टोपोग्राफी वी कैन नॉट नोटिस एनी सच प्रोट्यूजन हाउएवर द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन दिस इज के कॉर्नियल डायमीटर इज इंक्रीज कॉर्नियल डायमीटर लेफ्ट आई इज इट इज इंक्रीज कॉनियल डायमीटर मेजर करने के लिए टोपोग्राफी में हम एक्चुअली टोपोग्राफी के अंदर भी आ जाता है बट एग्जैक्ट डायमीटर इज आई थिंक कैलेटोमेट्री यूज करते थे टोपोग्राफी भी हम कर लेते हैं ठीक है बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू रूल आउट कैलेटोकोनस और एनी एक्टेक्ट कंडीशन वो सच बन दें बन देंगे सिंपल टर्म्स Is there any other investigation would you like, or do you have our diagnosis? So, do you have our uh, do you have a diagnosis, or would you like? We have our diagnosis. What is our diagnosis then? Anyone tell what the diagnosis is? Primary infantile glaucoma. Primary infantile glaucoma. Is primary infantile glaucoma. How will you manage this patient? Axial length kyu increase hui hai patient ki? That is a good question. Why do you think? Because angle to chota ho gaya. Angle chota ho gaya. Axial length increase ho gaya. Why do you think it's happening? So, on axial length, we will have a few question marks over here. Okay, I don't forget to answer this. But I'll answer it after we've discussed management options. What are the management options? What can we do? क्या हम कर सकते हैं? We know that there's a medical treatment. We know that there's a surgical treatment. The medical treatment is straightforward. You know the five classes of drugs. Which, however, do you think that medical treatment alone will work in this case? क्यों काम नहीं करेगी कोई बोल रहा है बट आई कैन नॉट हेयर दम आपकी बहुत आवाज आई सकती मदम थी कैन यू प्लीज रिपीट दैट व्हाट यू सेड कंजेनिटल कंडीशन है ना तो उसमें मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट के साथ आपने कंजर्वेटिव ट्रीटमेंट के साथ सर्जिकल भी करनी पड़ेगी या फिर किसी कोई अंडरलाइन कोई सर्जिकल डिसऑर्डर है ठीक है यू राइट यू राइट दैट इज यू राइट दिस इज एन अंडरलाइन स्ट्रक्चरल डिसऑर्डर फॉर व्हिच वी नीड टू परफॉर्म अ सर्जरी व्हाट इज दैट सर्जिकल और एनाटॉमिकल डिसऑर्डर और प्रॉब्लम वी नीड टू करेक्ट वी डिस्कस्ड अब ये पर केस में हमने देखा है पीछे लगाएंगे जहां पे प्रॉपर पोजीशन है वो क्योंकि आगे आयरिस हैज बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सो द आयरिस देयर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद द इंसर्शन ऑफ द आयरिस so something is wrong and we need to correct that position how will we correct that position which are the surgeries which we can use there are three surgeries which we can use now the problem is this uh, you're right you said that the iris has a high insertion inserted and its insertion is causing a blockage of the trabecular mesh so first of all do you think that this is an open angle glaucoma or is this an angle closure glaucoma angle closure an angle closure glaucoma right so we right so we discussed that trabecular plasties and drainage devices they usually done in open angles so we know that we don't do them now at least after uh, that the angle hole nahi rehte so what can we use to 
open the angle or to have a better angle in this patient. Anatomy by laser. The first thing is we perform a goniotomy. What is a goniotomy? Tomi means to cut and gonio is specifically used for the uh, specifically used for the angle. Now there's a video here. Yeah, it will be clear to you. What happens is that in this eye, uh, we insert a probe or a knife, a gonio knife from here. Opposite sides some insert kate and we take it all the way over here. And we incise up right left move kate and we incise a part of the Angle a part of the tubular mushrick in order to open it. That procedure is called a goniotomy. Okay, this is a video for goniotomy, and it's not that 